This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. I remember coming out of the kitchen. I started to notice this rash on my left leg. It was kind of a typical eczema-like rash, where it was, it was kind of red and scaly. It would look like prickly rash, or when you get into the nettles. I wasn't that concerned. I thought, well, maybe it's just an allergy or something. It might pass. There were some homeopathic products that I planned on using, and I remember thinking, it should be fine in a week. Tom uses the natural remedy for several days, but the rash persists. I was at work, and I remember the rash not only spreading, but the uh, legs beginning to swell. The burning had become so intense, it was just driving me crazy. I remember just breaking down and scratching the rash until it bled. It was terribly frustrating at that point. Nothing that I was doing was working. But I was very reluctant to see a doctor that would likely put me on some sort of a drug that would have side effects. So Tom continues with homeopathic lotions. A month later, Tom and Dee are asleep at home. I remember being woken up in the middle of the night when my legs just literally oozing fluid. The sheets were soaking wet. And when I pulled the sheets off, bits of the rash would come off, bits of skin. Tom wakes up D. And that's when I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, Tom. It was just horrifying. His rash was really disgusting. But that's not Tom's only issue. I had body aches all over. I began to have chills and symptoms of a flu. It was a very frightening experience because of the fever and, and how horrible he felt. It is not customary for me to seek out emergency medicine. And then I just remember going like, Tom, you have to understand. I'm the one who cares about you, and I'm the one who's looking at it, and I'm the one who is concerned about you. We're going to the hospital. 